Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in the chapter 5 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to look at setup and teardown. And objective of this video is to understand setup and teardown, understand before each and after each method. Now, in our previous video, we have used customer reservation class to test AAA pattern that is arrange act and assert pattern. Now, to this class, I have made some modification. So, here we have a hotel room capacity which is set to 30. Customer count, that is the current number of customer in hotel at the moment, it's set to 10. Now, here I have added one method, register customer. So, this will register the customer and in this case, it will just increment the customer count by 1. And there is another method added, unregister customer. So, this will decrement the count of customer and in this case, it will decrement by 1. Now, here we have the spec file customer reservation dot component dot spec dot ts and here I have kept some boilerplate code ready so that we can go ahead with our concept. Now, here we have a test suit customer reservation and I have two test cases, each for testing the registration of the customer and another for on registration of the customer. Now let's go and write these test cases. Now here we have written the test case for registration of the customer and in this one we are going to use the matcher to equal. So this will check whether the cost count is equal to the value entered in the parameters. So here I am going to set it to 11. So as we know, the current customer count is set to 10. Hence I have kept it to 11 to keep our test simplified. Now let's go and write the unregistration test. Now, I have already executed the ng test, so let's see it on the browser. Yes, so both the test cases have been executed successfully. Now, coming back to our example, here we have created object of customer reservation class and tested our logic as required. Now, in this case, this we have only two test cases. Now let's just say our example grows and our unit test case number goes up to 10 or 15. In that case, creating an object becomes a redundant code and making it difficult for future changes. So any change to the constructor of the customer service will have to be reflected in 10 to 15 unit test case. In order to avoid this, we can make a common customer service object creation like this. So, I am going to remove from it here as well and save. Now, let's see what happens in this case. So, the test case have been executed. Now, let's see it on the browser. So, you can see two specs, but at this time, one of the test case has failed. Why? Because the customer count, that is the current customer count is set to 10. And in first test case, we have tested it to or incremented it to 11. But in the next case, it is set to 9. And we have a common object. And at the time of first execution, it will increment the count to 11. But at the count time, we are testing it for decrementing, that is unregistered customer. We are ex expecting it to be 9, but the actual output is 10. So, in this case, when we are creating a common object, one of the test case is executed successfully, but the another test case is not. So, this common object creation is good, but it is messing up our test cases. So, this is where our setup and teardown concept come in. Now, instead of creating the object at this position, we can create it in a method before each. So, I am going to write the before each method now. So, here I have just declared the object. Now, writing the before each method. 
So this is the syntax for before each method which accepts a function and in this case it is an arrow function. And here I am going to create the object. Before each is a part of setup spec and the before each method will get executed before each and every unit test case that is mentioned in this test suit. So here it will be executed before registration of the customer. It will again execute at the time of unregistration of the customer. So regardless of the number of test cases that you are having, it will be executing before each and every unit test case that is present. Then is the after each. After each method is part of teardown. This also passes a function and which will be again an arrow function. After each method is useful for tearing down the value. Now before each is useful for initializing the variable, setting up prerequisites for a unit test case to get executed. After each is useful to nullify the variable. So in this case I can set customer service to null. So it is for tear down that is to nullify the initialization or to remove the values that are not required in the future unit test case execution. So before each is very useful for setting up initializing the variable and after each is very useful for tearing down that is removing the initialization or removing the values that are not required further and each of this will be executed before each unit test case is executed and after each unit test case has been executed. Now like before each and after each method, there are two more methods provided by Jasmine. Those are before all and after all. Now, unlike the before each and after each, the before all and after all method will be executed before all the unit test cases have been executed. So, before all is going to be executed only once, that is before all unit case execution starts. And after all will be executed after all the unit test cases have been executed. We will be seeing their examples in future videos in detail. I hope you have understood this video. Do provide us the comments. Do subscribe and thank you.